Welcome back guys. Okay, what we have now here is uh, all the things that you need before you start with your model making. I'm just gonna run through. First of all, you have to make sure to have your specimen, which is in this case this one. Uh, we are gonna sculpt back this particular specimen, okay, based on this. Alright, and then get ready with your material. What I have just discovered is that I made a mistake. There's a den here which I did not see. So when I just want to put it back in, so it probably going to be a bit lower this part. So I, I will solve that problem by making a separate uh, something like uh, like this knob. This one also is salvage. But later I'll see whether it can fit or not. Let's just give it a check first. Yeah, it fits nicely. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about the knob. At least later I can sculpt this into this. Okay. What I'm going to build now is actually the body and until here. Or if I can, I can still separate these two. So maybe I can create three parts. One, two, and three to the head. Right. So that's the original idea. So what I'm getting ready now is all the things that I need for my uh, sculpting. So this is very crucial because you need to check it all the time and you must have this. This is for the later on when you want to sculpt the top or whatever, you can use this as a reference point because you're going to be guided by all this, uh, you know, the detail. So, so those are the things. And what I also, uh, this one is very important and cut a strip of sandpaper okay just cut a strip of sandpaper and then you must also find something like i found this case okay maybe useful for my uh, sculpting work so what i'm gonna use is i'm gonna cut a small strip and i'm gonna hold it like that i'm gonna hold it like this so it can be anything like box or cigarette box cup anything that you can grab some but make sure you have a firm grip because you want to make a straight line or whatever that you want to sculpt later you're going to use this type this stroke going down so that is the way to create a, a much efficient uh, what they call sanding methods using this type okay so okay your specimens ready uh, Another one is what I did is that I created a template. Okay, so I have I trace this actually. Okay, I trace and then I cut it with a scissor just in case. Uh, you have to just get ready. Okay, so and then this one is another one. This is on this side and I have another small template which I make from a small. I mean like I trace it on a paper. But make sure you guys maintain this drawing. Make sure it is as crisp as its original. Do not retrace it by redraw later. It can get a very messy line. I don't want that. Please, guys. Okay. I don't know how you're going to trace it. Uh, you know, what I did is this. I, I just paste it on the mirror and then put a small paper and then I look at the sun sunlight. You know, I just, just a guideline. You can do that very fast. Okay. So that is my way. So, um, okay. Later we'll work on it. What uh, the first thing that I'll be doing is actually to trace. So I take this template. This is on the side. So I just give it a, a rough markings. Just for me to estimate the shape. So that's why the use of template is important because You can do this. <laughs> so I'm just using a simple pencil. Okay, so this part here not really important because we know this is the edge, but just give some markings on the side. The top, yes, done. So there you go. So we are going to trace this one later on here. Okay. So it 
should be in there. This is a rough indication. Just lightly draw the line, do not push too hard. It will break the surface of the polyurethane. Okay, so this is the side. This is the front. So later we can still do something about the edge here because this is not as you know, as curvature as this one. So that's why we can still salvage this part. So what I'm going to sculpt later is uh, I'm going to remove because the top here will be replaced by this. So I'm just going to do the body from here only from here. Okay, from there, from the whatever cylindrical part later. I'm gonna just going to patch it with something else or we can see maybe we can sculpt until here as well we'll see how it goes alright All right. now I already have this uh, mark okay it's all marked here uh, with both sides of the line so let's sculpt now you have to remove this part out okay maybe until here later okay we just use cutter and start slowly by sculpting straight out okay make sure it you don't make any mistake while working on this because you must maintain the shape or everything cave in then you have to replace by a new material so which means you make a mistake if you cave in All right. just give a marking first. and we're going to sand this until you almost certain that it's near in the line same goes that side And then I'm gonna draw uh, this template here back on the spot. Okay, does it come close? Mm, yeah, um, maybe not yet. Okay. Now I have drawn uh, this line. So we have two lines now, both sides, based on the bigger template. So now let's check. So, which means now we have to remove slightly about that portion out that portion out this is a bit too much but uh, we just do it slowly same like what we did before we cut 
cut on the side make sure you don't make it straight like that it will break so you slant it like that when you slide oh it's very meditative okay slide Later, my whole house have to be vacuumed. Okay, we're gonna use the sandpaper again. Gently. Make sure that the line you did not pass through. Okay. Right. So at least we got this shape now. So I want I want to duplicate this side. Okay, I'm gonna draw that side now. Now I already draw the template. Okay, so you can see from the side I already redraw back. Maybe it fits just nice. I don't have to redraw this. Later we'll work on that. Bit. And this one is on this side and that side. And this, yeah. So and then another one is this one. This is the the cutout from the top view. So I just put it at the bottom and retrace it basically. So that's how. I give a rough indication mark. Okay, so let's uh, sculpt this now. So what I can do is, I can still use cutter. Okay, you, you use your guidelines there to, to to cut slowly. Make sure you don't slice off. It is very important to use a sharp cutter. Okay, or else sometimes you are going to break. The surface when it won't glide in. Same goes here. Okay, uh, so we have shaped it roughly. Oh, I have not done this part. Make sure you look at the right angle when you're working on it because you don't want to make mistake. So this is a sculptor way. We have to be very sure we are like an engineer in our own world. So we have roughly cut it, we have to send, make sure it has us like that. So that's how you get your initial shape, right? Later we can work the detail. All right. So let's compare. This is a bit. Uh, we have not really curved it yet. We have not really curved. So we can still work on something. We can still trim around here more by using sanding. Okay, I'm gonna cut short. I don't want to show you the nitty gritty of my work sending later when i'm halfway i'll let you know i'll show you again
what I have done is I have sent some surface here. Okay, first of all, you have to execute to make sure that X and Y has a, the most accurate. So let's look at this again. Right? So use measurement, use this tool to measure. Always have to keep check top and bottom. And when you send, you have to check the same thing. So I have accurately got my measurement correctly. See? So it's just about the same size. Okay? So here, not yet. Here is much smaller. Let us measure. Yeah, we still have to send certain part there. Still have to do a bit of sanding on this side. So the method of sanding, I have another version, which is you just put a small piece on the table like that, and then you can slowly sand it like that. Slowly sand. And make sure to have constant check whether you have the most uh yeah okay and then use this to measure okay use this to measure all right so that's the tip i have done my uh sanding a little bit and you can check now from this width all right this width so we can check now by checking. See, it's 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 almost it's it's slight bit. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Okay. Check on this side. Yeah. So that is. Make sure you get this correct first. Sometimes we can use back our template just to recheck back whether we have get the right uh, tangent for the edges or not. Like that. I think it's we can still do something at the edge here because it's not really rounded. This is a bit sharp. We can still work on this side. Still a bit more here. And this part is just nice. Alright, so there's a curvature. Now you can see see the sharp sharp line. So we have to work slowly. So I normally do sometimes when I after I sanding, I, I use my bare finger to just simply do like that. If I do like that, you can almost you know do like a, the last polish. So it give a, a more creeps to it. I I used to do. Uh, this kind of thing with my bare hands last time but it, yeah, a lot of work but yeah, sometimes you send paper first and then you can do this time so basically we're not going to use this top because this is where the neck is so later I'm going to cut slightly the dent there and then uh, yeah I will show it to you we're gonna mark back the um, template because we probably get all the right shape first I have not smoothed yet the side but uh, just do some markings first just to be safe so that is the neck so this is where the side of the bottle will be draw here if you want but I'm not gonna use this part anyway so but just to give you some guideline there you go later we will carve out from here and we will do on both sides like this as well and later we'll cuff cuff this part
I have marked the uh, uh, what you call uh, using the template. So now I just wanna look at from the side here what I can do. I can simply just follow the form slowly, cut using cutter. marked maybe I'm gonna still salvage this part here uh, yeah see how it goes after uh, meticulously working on the meticulous <laughs> is that the right word after working very detailed with the work checking the templates over and over again like what I'm doing now here I'm putting all the templates just to check and for my, for my, for my final check I always have this template to make sure that I look at a bird eye view like this and then you know to, to, to show whether I, I get it or not. Is it follow the exact shape? At the same time constantly check on the the uh, measurement of it. Okay? Okay, let's check this. Okay. This shape the thickness okay fits just nice. The width okay fits just nice, right? Just nice, and then uh, the oh, this part the head or oh, the bottle cap. So I have AC, it, it fits just nice. So next will be flatten this particular top. I still have to sand here. And then make some, uh, what do you call, get the center point and do a markings and what do you call, cut on the side of it. Okay. I've carved this out. Okay, now you look closely. It's uh, now just to create the shoulder part of it. The shoulder, this shoulder part. So you can see now I have not really done much on the shoulder, but the top is almost similar now. Okay, so I need more carve here. So just use slowly, slowly cut piece by piece. Okay. Here as well. So this one just now I use. Uh, I already cut the square using cutters going down slowly, but at the same time make sure that you have the center measurement by estimating certain when you are already carve here you uh, roughly measure i know it's tedious but uh yeah that's how it is how, how it goes okay just cut like this and check again like you have to check all the time this one is much more lower. Okay. We'll work on that soon. By the way, the top here, the measurement is correct already. Oh, shit. Anyway. It's correct, right? We just have to make it round a bit more. Just have to round it. Okay. So this stage is where I have sculpted the profile. 
the shape but I have not really made the neck yet so my later stage will be the neck uh, some other things that this this part here also have to to cut some more to make it more because it has a curve here this is not yet this is very rough if you look at this angle you will see this is very curved this is not so I have to shade more here okay and then this one this neck also uh, the, the 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 bottle cap it's it is not really uh, uh, cylindrical it is you know a bit rough here the edges so those are the pointers so one way to to do is just take a small piece of uh, sandpaper and then roughly like that slowly you have to look at the angle from the, uh, the view just do it slowly and at all time use the veneer caliper to check so this one okay it's a bit loose though mm, but this one okay so the edges here you have to uh, I think it's almost there I think just now because I have do I've done this part here which is can be disastrous if you not do it nicely so sometimes you can do like that for uh, you know just to you wrap it make sure it ngam ngam follow the cylinder but not too much and then circle it like that and you are holding it like this also can and you can turn vice versa in order for you get the the cylindrical profile All right so if you check yeah it's a slight bit loose but make sure it's sharp the tolerance is smart plus minus about point you know point one or point two or it's okay this is manual you're not doing with machine okay so all right so try to get this this is that uh yeah that's the station now we are working on I've done this uh, profile um, if you look at it again when I curve it to the exact uh, sorry I sometimes don't even know where the camera is so it is almost identical if you look closely almost identical at first I don't really sure about this side here but but once I sculpted it, then I know, oh, it just fall into place. Uh, right? Yeah, this part there. This part here. Alright. Okay. So sometimes you, you know, once you cut, when you rough it with a piece of uh, sandpaper, you can also do like this, to roughen to rough it first don't put too much pressure just lightly same goes here lightly You can use your bare fingers to clear the dust. At the same time, you can flatten certain certain corners. You have to be gentle with it because this foam is very uh, soft for modeling. 
not too soft but medium soft right. then we check again what did we get that almost we have not finished so I'm gonna do the neck after this okay now we come to the stage of what I have done I'm just gonna show you now so basically we have these two uh, almost identical uh, yeah, model. If you look closely, but I already make some marking for the curving later. I'm gonna do. So basically, it looks almost identical, right? So if you're wondering how do I get to to mark those things, so sometimes I use a very silly method. Okay, I'm gonna show you now. I I just do this. When I mark certain things that I'm going to put a marking straight to the workpiece. So what I'll do is that I get this, what do you call it, toothpicks. So I just do like this. And then I will rotate that part, the one that I mark. Slowly, slowly, when it, the mark is there, so we slowly carve with cutter. And then what I also do is that I use this. I cut a small strip of sandpaper. Right? And then what I'll do is that I, I do like this. I put the neck like that. And hold it like this. And I rotate it slowly, holding like that, rotate slowly. Okay. And that is how I get this perfect cylinder on the neck. And then I rough down here, tonal event. So what I'm going to do now is that because you know, this, the material is not enough, we have some mark here just now, at the top here. So what I'll do is that So what I'll do is that I, I, I cut it off Cut it off at this point Because later easier for me just to make one small one So that I can cap it on top And that's how we're gonna finish this model So another one, I'm, what I'm gonna do later after this is To cut out this particular shape Right, and then I'm gonna do a markings here because these have a mark here, indentation. So I'm gonna mark there and I'm gonna slowly uh, uh, carve into it. Right. So at the moment we just have to forget about this thing. This is not really important. Okay. Okay, now we have, I have finished with my work. As you can see, now I only have to glue this on. If you look closely, it's almost identical now. You can see the groove here in the center. So it's also have a cuff here. The way I, I do is I, actually I measure the center the center here I don't measure any outside here or here I measure the center so I make the line the center line here and after that what I'll do is that I use pencil to mark it and then I carve it slowly 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 carve it using cutter and then even though it's uneven so I use the back of the pencil to make this groove so I push it like that 
for sure. But be gentle, guys, because uh, this material. See my fingernail, kena, so it's all for ya. So it is very soft material. Now I notice there's a from the top view. I notice there's a dent here, slight bit. He also got some dent. I think because of the manufacturing defects or whatnot. Because from the bottom here, it's supposed to be straight. Maybe because of this indentation, it give a shrinkage to this particular section. But yeah, I follow exactly like what it is. Alright. Even the marks here at the bottom is actually based on the actual uh, mark. Right. You, you can measure this. We can see whether I really follow or not. That top, almost, almost, yep. Okay, I'm gonna glue this now. Um, actually, I make two of this. One of this is a bit too, too narrow at the bot at the top there. But the 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 the, the he here the diameter is okay. But uh, yeah, so I make another one. So I'm gonna glue this on top here. Now. Right. Okay, this is how it finally look now. So side by side with the sample. So try this guys, okay, it's not as hard as you think, you just have to be sensitive with the material, that's all, okay, you just have to be sensitive with the material, don't overdo, don't put too much pressure, but work it very very slow and very light. Right. Okay. Bye, guys.